Frack on. Welcome to the episode of Frack the Cannon. I am joined by the coolest motherfuckers around. How are you doing, Tyler Ruiz? Yeah, I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy to be seeing us. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Sarah? Wonderful. We're ready. You know, we love a theme. I see that you are dressed up for the theme we're about to talk about, which is <laughs> yeah. the Joker Part Do. I don't. I can't speak French. I didn't know Part Do. Folie a deux. Okay. What, say it again. Folie a deux. There you go. All righty. I'm going to hit play in three, two, one. Play. Let's go, boys. It's so high. Let's make it. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? He's so skippy. We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Um, Sarah, you have seemed to have a different opinion than I do on this. Uh, let's start with you. Oh man, I mean, okay. So it's a musical. It's it a musical. Like, it seems like that. Right? It's a musical. We we seem to be following in the vein of Willy Wonka and Mean Girls, where we're trying to pretend like we're not doing a musical while we're fully doing a musical. But I think we might get the kind of cabaret style where all the musical numbers take place on a stage, which has been really successful. Chicago did it. It came from the original cabaret. Why is most of my questions. Like, I think this looks like it's going to be visually stunning, but just like, why? I have a why for so many things. I have so many whys. Why I, does I, it look like Harley is in the asylum with him? Why is Lady Gaga playing Harley? Why is Harley in this at all, realistically? Like, if we're not going to get what looks like... Like, okay, first of all, why? We've just had a phenomenal... Harley in three different movies. Why are we doing this again? And why are we putting her back with Joker? She's moved on. She's she's graduated. We did that. Why this is she is back new, with Joker? New universe, new universe, right? Yeah. They're, yeah, they're saying this one wasn't the same universe as that one. Um, I know, but so why couldn't we get him a new girlfriend? Why does it have to be Harley? Interesting. So oh. here's my thing. So I was sent this. This isn't my initial response because I was sent this by so many people because I'm obviously a big fan of Harley. And my question is, if we're not going to follow with the comics, 
or the animated series or anything else, why does it have to be Harley then? Because he's got a new girlfriend. He's got Punchline in the comics now. He's got, you know, whatever else is going on. Why did we go with Harley? And if we're going with Harley, why are we changing it so she's not Dr. Harley? Why King isn't she Harley? brilliant? Right. That's the whole thing. Is she's a doctor. She's smart. That's what makes him so compelling. And that's the question is, how? what's so compelling about this man that this doctor did what she did you know what i mean she's not a dumb woman she's not just some crazy chick but we're not it's part of what's you know why so so my biggest why is like why why harley quinn because this isn't the harley quinn from the comics this is elsewhere we already know that there's no batman there's no there's no there's no superheroes there's no there's no broadness i'm like okay this i know this is an elseworld story but like it's it's like not like in a different world blah blah blah. i'm like cool why harley quinn is my biggest question I don't think it's Gaga, but when I first heard about this, I'm like, I have no interest in Gaga playing this character at all. I'm like, this, like this is this is for me. I'm like, I don't like. I have nothing against Lady Gaga. I have nothing against her. I just don't want it to be Harley Quinn. Tyler, like, it looks like a music video. It's like a Gaga music video, but I don't want that. I, yeah, I, I have the answer as to everyone keeps asking why, and I wasn't surprised at all when I saw. It. Now I'm a little surprised because the first Joker. Was really good, a really enjoyable experience. Saw it in theaters. It was visceral, like yeah, this is what like anything connected Batman should feel like. And then you have this, which is completely different. But I wasn't really that surprised because Todd Phillips is the director and the writer of this, the same guy who did Borat, like like mm. master of subversion of expectations, and um, master of letting me down is what you mean. <laughs> uh. I know it's you down, uh, man. I, I, my voice is raspy. I can't do my Borat impression. Um, <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I'll, I'll just, I, I, from this trailer now see more of what I think the direction they're going in. Uh, when I heard, heard there was going to be a bunch of musicals, I was thinking, um, like. Uh, like a musical movie sort of thing. Like you said, Chicago, uh, that's a good example of a musical movie. Um, but when I watch Chicago, it's like, yeah, what I'm seeing looks like it could be on stage. And this is a little different. You actually said music video. I'm like, yeah, it, looks, it does look more like music videos. So what I think is actually going to happen is they're going to parallel, and they kind of did this in the trailer, parallel their sort of chaotic experiences to the song. And it, it's a recurring theme because uh, a lot of the theme of the first movie was escapism, uh, and but the vehicle for that escapism in the first movie was television. Like he's going to escape from his world by going onto this TV show, and it turned out to be uh, where he, you know, killed a guy on TV. I mean, um, so maybe there's going to be more of that where, like, we don't know what's real or not real, because there was like the whole thing about the. The first girlfriend in the 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 first Joker was really well done, so maybe to be something like that where we won't be able to tell what's real or not real other than there being music. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I think like from the trailer, it looks like you know they're dancing in what looks like you know an old Hollywood soundstage, but really they're like in front of things on fire. So I we might get more. Of that, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be visually stunning. I feel like you can't do something with Gaga and music and kind of creepy stuff without it looking amazing. I just, I don't know if we needed this in this way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that 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 the first Joker needed a second one. That was like, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I saw it and I got it and I was like, Cool new direction. I don't know if it needs. I don't know. I don't I, know. I. Mm. <laughs> I've yet to see that Joker movie. I'm like, because when I saw it, on Twitter, I'm like, this feels Watch like Taxi Driver. I'm it, like, well, it I'm is... like, like Taxi Driver with the Joker instead of Travis Baker. I'm like, this is this is. Yeah, it's a Taxi it, Driver. It it um, is a lot like Taxi Driver. So I'm like, it's like that. I'm just. You're not I'm wrong. I'm gonna watch it you now, watch it, but I, I I will. But I'm like. Like Sarah said to like why why Lady Gaga not even why Lady not like why Harley Quinn 
because this isn't Harley Quinn. Like, yeah. Harley Quinn the thing is, if we're not going to do Harley, why not just make it a new character? Because why it's, can't it's, he meet his match? He can meet his like, match. It's a in Arkham. Up. They're using their IP. You know, or the jail or whatever. They're it's, using the IP of and the name yeah. of the we're using it. It's, it's, it's a catch grab. If, if, yeah. They're yes. using the Joker, and that's what it is. So I'm like, I'm going to go see Joker now, but I'm like, I, I have, because like, this isn't Joker, this isn't Harley Quinn, because there's no Batman. Like, and, like No, it's oh. Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, and people are going to go see it because they want to see Gaga and, and, sing. Like, Lady Gaga, I, I have, again, I like her music. I, I haven't seen her acting any, I haven't seen her in anything. Have I seen her? No, She's phenomenal in A Star is Born. People love her in uh, American Horror Story. I I'm don't so watch American Horror Story because I can't stand Ryan Murphy. I'm so but... sick of that movie because there's so many remakes of that movie. I'm like, all right. like. <laughs> But like, it was great in the Star is Born. It was phenomenal. I think she's a lovely actress. You know, I was a big fan of her first two albums. I think this is, a, I think you said it though, it's a cash drop. They're beloved characters, they're beloved artists. People love Joaquin Phoenix, they love Lady Gaga. I think that there's going to be some people who, you know, go see it just for that and don't care. They don't care. They don't care about the characters they don't care about the universe they don't care about any of it and i guess i go back to like harley quinn is a beloved character and she's a really important character especially for a lot of women and the arc that we were given with her especially in the recent three movies with margot robbie is really important to a lot of those women for whom she's important to and i just wonder why in 2024, are we putting that character back in this position? Like, why are we putting her back there when it could have been a whole other woman who's supposed to be his match or his equal or tell a new story? Like, it just it feels like it feels personal. It hurts me personally. I don't appreciate this. No, I remember. You know? <laughs> I remember when Suicide Squad came out and people were like, oh, I want I want my Joker to my heart. I'm like, do you want to be abused emotionally and physically? Because like. Like that's what it is. Like you, people don't know. It. Harley Quinn is so misused and misrepresented by the mass. It's supposed to be with Stockholm syndrome. Exactly. Well, people the don't Joker get that. It isn't the entire story. That's yeah. the whole point. The Joker is the first chapter of her story, it, and a it, lot of women relate to that. It's really, really important that we understand the full scale of a character like Harley Quinn. The Joker is only the first chapter. It's not necessarily that you want it. It's that you do relate to it. A lot of women have been in a relationship like that where you were so blind and you were so in love, especially when you're young. Harley is pretty and smart and she gets sucked in by some charismatic guy and gets swept in and up in his world. A lot of women relate to that. And through just this recent three movies where we got birds of prey and she makes her own way out in her own world it's a really crucial story specifically because she premiered in the 90s cartoon where a lot of millennial women who are now in their mid-30s and you know whatever that was one of our formative characters in the girl power movement in the 90s she was a relatable character she was bubbly she was smart she was exciting and she fell in love with the wrong guy. And we get to do that. And we also get to have a life after it. And that's why I'm mad about this. Why are we putting her back with him? Why yeah. did that have to happen? You know, it's yeah, so and, much deeper. Yeah, At least and, obviously for me, but like culturally, like I'm mad. Yeah, they, thank you for sharing. That's really important. Uh, and, and for removing her rich backstory, which, yeah, that's like now <laughs> just making her like someone who's in the asylum she's just some crazy chick now yeah so what right yeah, yeah. like oh big deal oh he, he's crazy she's crazy now it takes away all of her agency everything that has been created for her from moment one from the original inception of her through the last 20 something years of this 25 30 years of her as a character in one trailer and in one movie concept, we've taken it all away. And I find yeah. that so insulting. It was easier to you know? write. Because yeah, it was oh, it's so, it's so much easier to write. And it's also so much easier to write her off as a victim of Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. It's so much easier to encapsulate her story 
within this one relationship with the Joker as if she didn't have a life before and there's nothing after him. And that's the most beautiful thing about the Suicide Series, the Suicide Squad series into Birds of Prey is it was so important and it was so phenomenal. And Margot Robbie, I mean, she's perfect anyway, but she was also a perfect person. There were so many beautiful things in those movies that I'm just like, this is insulting. We didn't need to do this. And I'm mad at Lady Gaga for doing it. I'm like, what, who are you? What are yeah, you supposed so, to stand for? It's like, except the tens of millions of dollars to do this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, she's somebody I respect as an artist, or at least I kind of did. Like, you're supposed to be standing up for, like, the weird ones and the artists and the women and, like, you know, like, what are you, why'd you sign on to this? So I want to have a little more faith in that it's not what it looks like. But I don't know why Harley's back with Joker. I don't know why she's not a doctor. Because it's not and she's a doctor. It's, it's a you know. different universe. It's called Elseworlds, so they're like, yeah. Um, I have to. I, sorry, I have to wrap it up, guys. Final comments, final <laughs> thoughts. Final final thoughts for me. Uh, it the I agree. It's the wrong sequel. The her first, the appropriate sequel would be meeting Batman because he saw little Bruce Wayne in it. So why didn't you have Bruce Wayne grow up to be his the start of another thing? But anyways, that that's it for me. Sarah, final comments. Final final comments. Final final comments is just. This is unnecessary. I don't, I, you know, I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to look great. I think there's going to be something for the film nerds, but I think it's just, it's the wrong movie. I don't think we need it. And I, I'm disappointed. I, I, I just, I don't, I, I remember when the first Joker came out, I'm like, this, this, this should not make a movie about a villain. I don't care what it is. Like, look, I don't think a villain should be sympathized. I think a villain should be, uh, therefore, to be like, okay, this is something that you're not, exp- uh, admire to be or try to go for a sequel i'm like why a sequel um and, and like as i watch the trailer, I'm like, this is this isn't harley quinn this is just some random chick who they put it gave her that name and they're just using likeness and the name for to sell a ticket this, this is a product this isn't art this is a product um maybe it is art i haven't like i said i haven't seen the first joker movie i was just like so against it i'm like no dude like you we should not make villains out of hero villains out of heroes heroes out of villains, and I don't want to start that with with like no, um, but now seeing this I'm like this does look interesting this does look like a this does look like a um like an interesting take on it so I will probably check it out, but I'm not 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 interested in this at all. <laughs> all right. well thank you all for coming thank you for joining me we'll see you same freaking time same freaking channel frack off. World. Now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone.